once you have developed these symptoms, once you go to a doctor, the doctor is going to run you through some diagnostic check apart from physical check that they have done. If you have a lymph node or, uh, or a mass anywhere, they will take a biopsy out of that. But otherwise, a routine chest x-ray will show if there is a lesion in the, in the lung. A CT scan will show the exact size, extent, the relation with the surrounding organs. Uh, a PET CT scan will actually show if at all it has spread elsewhere and the bronchoscopy will confirm the presence of a lesion from where you can actually take a biopsy. The biopsy, without a biopsy, we can't really treat a malignancy of any kind. So a biopsy can be done either through a bronchoscopy or a CT scan guided biopsy. Both can give us adequate tissue uh, so that they can actually confirm the diagnosis of the malignancy. Apart from confirmation of a diagnosis, what is relevant also is when you get a tissue, you can run some genetic testing. Uh, <clears throat> for example, if it's an advanced kind of a tumor, uh, where it has already spread to the liver, to the lung, etc. Then you can run some genetic testing, the mutation testing, where you can identify if at all there are any targets to uh, the cancer cells, which we can use in treating by tablets or injections, which is called a targeted therapy. And then uh, very easily we can prolong the life of a person. You may have a disease but you can live for many, many years. There was a time when 30, 40 years back, when, we, when I started my career for a stage four malignancy, the average survival used to be about five months. And we used to tell the person to go home and get lucky, spend time with your family, we used to say. Today, that is not the situation. We can give them five years, maybe 10 years, even in a stage four malignancy. What is happening now is the modern scientific development Cancer, if it is not curable, is being converted into a chronic disease like diabetes or hypertension, which cannot be cured, but you can control them for a long period of time. So even if there is an animal in your in your hall, in your, in your living room, the animal is going to be put into a corner as a quiet kind of a dog sleeping. So you have your disease, you have an evidence of a disease, but it is not likely to kill you. But for that, you need to reach your doctor, you need to get investigated, and the the disease has to have a target therapy itself. Certain investigations give us immense information in, in treating. MRI of a spine, if it is required, will show how far the disease has locally progressed and what are the areas that what we need to excise. PET CT scan will show if at all there is a spread beyond the normal possibility and if the stage actually has really changed.